What is temporal dead zone? Temporal dead zone comes into the picture when we create variables with let and const. Temporal dead zone starts from the first line and it ends at the line where we have declared the variables for this code. This is the temporal dead zone for variable A and for this code, this is the temporal dead zone for variable C. What's special about temporal dead zone? Well, if you try to access any variable in temporal dead zone, you will get an error that this variable is not initialized and you cannot access this variable before it's been initialized. Now, why doesn't let and const initialized in memory allocation phase? Let's understand the reason with const. Well, const is a constant. If we initialize the const variable in memory allocation phase and we initialize it again in the execution phase, so technically we are initializing the const twice and that is against the rule of a constant. So due to this reason, the const does not get initialized in memory allocation phase and let and const came together. So developer enforced this restriction to both let and const and this is my friend temporal dead zone. And to summarize, temporal dead zone ek aisa area hota hai jahan pe hum let aur const se bane hue variables ko access nahi kar sakte.